folks in a new video from your channel New Cars Technology. The 2023 Alfa Romeo Giulia is one of the few sports sedans that can compete with it in both of fun driving dynamics and smile-inducing thrills. It also helps that it flaunts an exquisite Italian couture clothing that outshines even the most exquisite vehicles in its entry luxury class. A turbocharged four-cylinder engine delivers quick acceleration, and the vehicle's intuitive handling is made to make you feel at one with the pavement. Even though the interior isn't nearly as luxurious as those of its competitors, and the onboard technology isn't quite as innovative, there is still a sizable list of basic and optional amenities. All models come included with the expected infotainment and driver assistance technologies, and adding further luxuries won't significantly raise the price. For people who love to drive, the Giulia is a fantastic option. The more extreme Giulia Quadrifoglio, reviewed separately in other video that you will find in description, that's ups the performance, but it costs nearly twice as much as the standard model. This year, the Giulia lineup grows by two trim levels. The mid-level Lusso trim returns for 2023, with a more upscale interior than the T. Its leather seat upholstery is unique to Canaloni. The dashboard and door uppers of the Lusso model are also wrapped in genuine leather, and it comes standard with a 14-speaker Harman slash Cardon stereo system. The Estrema model, which replaces the Veloce trim, now comes standard with adaptive suspension and a limited slip differential. Pricing and which one to buy. Sprint cost $45,875. T cost $47,585. Lusso cost $51,185. Veloce cost $51,185. Estrema cost $56,685. In order to most effectively engage with rivals like the BMW 3 Series and Mercedes-Benz C-Class, we'd recommend going for the new Lusso model. Not only does it have a 14-speaker audio and nicer leather upholstery, but it also has twin exhaust tips in chrome, aluminum window trim with a glossy finish, and brake calipers that are gloss black lacquered. I'll be honest, I it's vibe. Although all-wheel drive is an option and costs an extra $2,000, it is standard and is what we recommend. The Julius turbocharged 2.0-liter four-cylinder engine, which produces 280 horsepower and sounds enticing when pushed hard, feels brave. The Giulia eagerly accelerates through stoplights while belting out soaring arias from Italy. The Giulia placed middle of the pack in its segment in our acceleration testing with a time of 5.7 seconds for our rear-wheel drive test car and 5.5 seconds for an all-wheel drive model, even though both vehicles have less horsepower than the Alfa. The Audi A4 completed the task in 5.2 seconds and the four-cylinder BMW 330i managed 5.4 seconds. The drive mode selector in every Giulia has three distinct positions, dynamic, natural, and advanced efficiency, smartly abbreviated DNA, each of which modifies the gearbox, engine management, and steering feel of the vehicle. The Giulia is a sports sedan for driving enthusiasts that is always agile and vivacious. The front tires respond quickly to driver inputs and communicate effectively through the leather-wrapped steering wheel. Body roll is nicely controlled, and the Giulia remains level and predictable in tight turns. It's simple to drive swiftly and aggressively, yet it's also comfy to drive slowly. The Giulia gets competitive fuel efficiency statistics from the EPA, slightly shy of class leading among turbocharged four-cylinder rivals. Rear-wheel drive vehicles get 24 miles per gallon in the city and 33 miles per gallon on the interstate. All-wheel drive vehicles get 23 miles per gallon city and 31 miles per gallon highway, which is typical for this class. The inside of the Giulia is outfitted with soft-touch plastics, premium leather, and either textured metallic or genuine wood trim. The inside is attractively fashioned, with a broad, sweeping dashboard that doubles as a visor to keep the sun off the integrated infotainment screen. The seats, especially the optional sport seats, are pleasant and well-bolstered. Bring your sunglasses, though, when driving directly into the sun, the Giulia sun visors are embarrassingly tiny and ineffectual. With its back seats folding, the Giulia managed to accommodate five of our carry-on luggage within its trunk, behind segment leaders by one carry-on. Alfa Romeo's 8.8-inch touchscreen infotainment system is placed between the dash top and the central climate control vents on all Giulias. Standard features include three USB ports, an auxiliary input jack, in-dash navigation, and Bluetooth phone and music connectivity. 
The infotainment system is very simple and provides personalization choices, but we found the navigation to be occasionally slow to update during turn-by-turn -turn directions. Several display icons are also tiny and difficult to operate while driving. Users may interact with the system via an auxiliary rotary knob controller on the center console in addition to touchscreen commands. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard, while a 14-speaker Harman slash Kardon audio system is available as an option. Thank you for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to receive all that is new and exclusive in the automotive world.